Sunflower Bean Shake EP review. Let's chat about it. Hey friends, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning here tonight to chat about this latest EP from Brooklyn via Long Island uh, based indie rock trio Sunflower Bean. They've been at it for uh, some time now. Initially, they really caught me off guard uh, with their debut album, Human Ceremony. I hadn't heard much about it, but then I had caught them uh, opening up for Foxygen around that time, and I thought they put on a hell of a show, and I wanted to dive deeper, and I really did enjoy Enjoy their debut. Uh, for one, it was really hard to categorize between the nods to, you know, straight up indie rock and indie pop, but there was also nods to psychedelic rock, glam rock, even some post-punk. And while not perfect, I thought the band just had this layer of cool that I wasn't seeing around at the time. And uh, now their follow-up album, 22 in Blue, uh, I thought it was just okay. I just felt like a lot of this album was a rehashing of what they were doing on their debut, and not only that, it was a lot less interesting this time around. So much so, I just kind of fell off with them for a while. Their King of the Dudes EP, I mean, it existed, it was alright. And leading up to their last album, Head Full of Sugar, honestly, I wasn't that excited for it. I thought that it was going to be, you know, okay at best, probably a little bit more of the same, but I did enjoy a lot of the singles. But the result, while it wasn't anything wildly outside of the box, was easily their best sounding set of tracks since their debut. Now, leading up to this EP, it's their first work in a few years, and I'm going to be really honest with you. They have, you know, kind of shifted their sound uh, to a little bit of a heavier, more hard rock uh, sounding style, and that's fine. That's okay. They do pull it off to an extent, but some of the singles leading up to this EP did not excite me at all. Now, if any of the singles did win me over, it would definitely be Lucky Number. And like I said, it's a little bit bulkier of a sound on this EP. It's definitely rooted in some classic glam rock, some classic hard rock, and it's got a little swagger to it. This riff is definitely more muscular than anything, but it's not to the point where it's taking anything away from the band. Also, uh, Juliet Cummings' uh, vocal performance on this track is one of her best. And when she's at her best, she could be so incredibly commanding, and that's exactly what this track is. Now, I'm gonna be brutally honest with y'all, uh, the Shake single. Sorry, it's just not for me. As a matter of fact, since it dropped a while back, I have just not been overly excited about it. Now, there are some pluses to this track. For one, I actually don't think the riff is that bad. As a matter of fact, as far as Sunflower Bean is concerned, I think they pull it off really well. It has grown on me in that respect, but it is also so incredibly stiff. It's just so rigid and not fun. And like, yeah, of course you could argue that there's some sweaty charisma, but it's not enough to really save this cut for me. I have a lot of the same feelings on Teach Me To Be Bad. Like on one hand, this big bass heavy riff, I honestly don't hate it all that much. It reminds me of some old school Death From Above 1979. Also, not for nothing, Julie's performance on this cut, how do I say this? Is it is it hot in here? It's definitely sexy. But once again, it is so incredibly stiff that it sounds like nobody's having fun and neither am I. But I think what's most frustrating about this EP is how much they absolutely nail the finale with some genuinely fresh and new sounds for the band. Like take for example Serial Killer. This is a much more dreamy and playful cut. It has some serious sense of mystery to it, but it also doesn't sound like anything else here. This is far from where this EP started. And it's a sound that I hope that we hear a lot more of because I think it's genuinely fresh and interesting and maybe some of the more unique sounding stuff from Sunflower Bean I've heard in a while. Also, we get one of Julia's most enigmatic and commanding performances. She sounds great. And that goes double, maybe even triple for Angelica. This truly is one of the coolest sounding cuts I've heard from the band in forever. It is so streamlined sounding production wise. This cut sounds amazing. And also it's just really, really catchy. It's just such a crisp and interesting new sound from them. And you know, when it comes time for a new album, I hope they go in this direction cause it's really fascinating. I honestly think I would have liked the EP a lot more if we stuck with this sound to compared to what we got earlier. But it's okay. It's not the worst uh, EP in the world. It's just a fine little EP from Sunflower Bean. They try some new things. Some of them stick. Some of them do not. Some of them I hope we hear from never again. And some of them I hope we hear from them soon. And honestly, it's just kind of okay. I'm feeling a decent six on this EP. But let me know what you all think down below. If you like the video, be sure to give us a like. Give us a subscribe. And let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future. And until next time, have a great day, friends.